Hey guys, so I'm really excited that we're starting up another Superhuman 40 Day Challenge and I thought it would be really helpful if I could show you guys the 12 most important foods that I have in my kitchen. Uh, when I was thinking about this, I was like, what foods can't I go without during a challenge? Uh, so these are really the building blocks to my challenge. Um, you may not like them all yourself, but try to find you know substitutes and stuff that works for you. These 12 foods are very personal to my taste. Um, but I always got overwhelmed by the big recipe lists and grocery shopping lists that uh, other diets might provide you with. So I wanted to break it down, make it very basic for you. And these are the basics that will get you through your challenge. So the first food we have is Kerrygold butter. All right. Um, through conventional diet advice, I always stayed away from butter, you know, bought the low fat products in the grocery store. And, um, you know, a lot of the foods I used to eat were very bland. Um, so now that I use butter very liberally on, on all my foods, um, we use it for all pan cooking that we do. My wife makes incredible scrambled eggs. People say she makes the best eggs in the world and I'm letting her secret out. That's her secret. She uses Kerrygold butter. The second food on the list would be olive oil. So olive oil used a lot, used a lot for pan cooking, but now we use Kerrygold for all of that. But we do use olive oil a lot in salad dressings, marinades, and uh, coating of veggies, you know, to put in the oven for roasting. Um, you know, store-bought dressings is another place where you get caught in a low-fat trap and you end up buying something that's filled with sugar or a lot of inflammatory um, ingredients. So by using olive oil in, as a base for a lot of our homemade dressings, we can ensure that they're healthy for us and not the store-bought crap. Next, we have balsamic vinegar. Um, we use balsamic with the, the olive oil in salad dressings, um, but also use it in uh, marinades. Lately, my wife has tried some uh, pulled pork and some short ribs in the crock pot with, with balsamic, and they've just been incredible. So we'll definitely be sharing those recipes with you in the 40 day challenge. Next, we have primal mayo. Primal mayo is a new product um, from Mark Sisson. It's available at thrivemarket.com. I'll include the link so you guys can get to that. Um, I used to be addicted to egg salads, tuna salads in college, you know, whatever was easiest. You just throw it together with some low fat Ritz crackers, right? But now, um, you know, I still like to do tuna, chicken salads, whatever. But now we have a healthy alternative to mayo and this is with avocado oil in it. So it's good for you. It's from Thrive Market. It's a really amazing product. Next we have eggs. I used to be the guy that was always uh, buying the egg white egg beaters at Publix in the carton. Um, but now, you know, I make sure I, I eat the whole egg whenever I'm using eggs. Um, you know, use them in the pan, whether you're doing scrambled, over easy, uh, or you could hard boil them. And they're great to have as a snack around, you know, hard boil them uh, on a Sunday, have them throughout the week for your snacks. Uh, it's a great thing to take on the go. Next, we have chicken thighs. Uh, these are organic chicken thighs uh, from Whole Foods. Optimally, you would want you know free-range chicken, but that can't always be the case. You know, people are on a budget, not ex as accessible as this. So this is really easy to get from Whole Foods. Um, it's delicious. We opt for the thighs over the the chicken breasts. You know, kind of dark meat over the white meat. It's just going to have more taste in your cooking. Um, so don't be afraid of that fat in the dark meat. So next we have the grass-fed um, beef patties. These are, you know, from grass-fed cows. We get those online at uswellnessmeats.com. Obviously you could do burgers with the patties, but my wife does some pretty incredible things with them. Um, she makes meat sauces, meatloafs, taco meat dishes, um, and an amazing sweet potato hash dish that we'll also share with you throughout the challenge. Everyone who I have recommended U.S. Wellness Meats to and they've purchased them and, and tried them out so they no noticeably can taste a difference um, and they, they say they will never go back to conventional meats after trying uh, the grass-fed variety. Next we have a twofer between mixed greens and frozen organic vegetables. Um, the mixed greens are great to have on hand to make a salad whenever you need it. Okay, so always make sure you have greens on hand, right? And even if they go bad, buy new ones and buy new ones and buy new ones because you're gonna use them over the challenge. I know that's not the sexiest of foods to eat, but you have to have it on hand. You have to have it staring at your, in your face at, in the fridge. Also, frozen organic vegetables. These are broccoli uh, from Publix. 
you know, we, we don't always have hours and hours to cook, so it's easy to pop that bag open, throw it on the skillet with some Kerrygold, and then you'll have your broccoli um, nice and quick, okay? So always have a frozen bag on hand because, you know, our schedules get crazy and we wanna have backup plans. What we have is our seasonings, okay? So obviously seasonings are not a food, but they are very important to the recipes we'll be doing. So we have sea salt, onion powder, garlic salt, and pepper. Okay, there's a lot more you can use and in the, in the Superhuman Challenge you can use spices very liberally. You don't have to worry about them for the most part. Um, but these are the four that are most important to the recipes we use um, and of course always have plenty on hand. You can also use uh, pink Himalayan sea salt in lieu of the sea salt or in addition to. Salt was another food that I used to kind of fear with along with fat, but now that I'm not afraid of fat, afraid of salt, sodium, um, from cleaning up my diet that, you know, use it liberally, make the foods taste good and enjoy them. So the next three foods are very um, personal to my taste. If you want to use them as well, that's great. If not, they're not the fundamental foods that we would need to do a paleo challenge, but I need them personally. So first is almond butter or cashew butter or almonds or cashews in a bag. Um, and of course, looking for good sources, don't just find the ones full of sugar. Um, but I used to be addicted to peanut butter, and in my first challenge, it was very hard for me to give up peanut butter. Um, I didn't even, I might have cheated a little bit by not giving it up totally. But I found this Barney's butter, which is pretty good. It's not perfect. Um, or you could get the fresh made at Whole Foods or Fresh Market um, almond butter or cashew butter, and that's amazing as well. You know, have it on hand so that you reach for that instead of reaching for something worse. Next, we have chocolate. <laughs> All right, and I know chocolate is not paleo, but when you need something to hold you over and kind of reset the willpower meter, it helps to have just a little cheat on hand. Um, and this is 85% chocolate, which a lot of people might think tastes like chalk at first, um, kind of a gross taste, but as your taste preference change and you start eating less sugar throughout this diet, you'll find that this starts tasting really good. Um, maybe you could start with a 70%, but just in small moderation, you know, end of the day, just need a block to keep you going. All right, it's okay to have a little bit of chocolate on hand. And then last, we have sparkling water or LaCroix or some kind of naturally flavored water. Okay, you do have to check the labels to make sure that you don't um, just get something full of corn syrups or anything like that. Um, but again, a lot of people coming into this challenge are giving up stuff like soda, um, for me, it was Gatorade or sports drinks. Um, and you need to find something that kind of replaces that, that isn't, isn't as bland as water. So kind of make water fun, have the sparkling water, uh, or you can make your own flavored water with lemons, cucumbers, whatever. So those are the 12 foods that I need on a diet challenge. If you guys have more to add to that list, please leave us a comment uh, and shoot us an email with stuff that you find that helps you most in your challenge.